Alright, next day. And now, a moment of truth. I'll put the sheath back on this. Just because of this cutting my hands open. I've had a few minor scrapes and things, but I'm hoping that now I'm removing these clamps, it's not all going to fall apart on me. I've just got to get that out. Which, uh, uh, it's stuck a bit. Bear with me. Okay. Boom. Oh, thank fuck for that. Goes back in. Comes back out. Right, so that's removed and it slides back in, slides back out. So, bore a new hole going through all the way. We can work that out. Pin, uh, and we'll start shaping this, shaping it at least anyway. Uh, I might fill up that as well with a, a dowel before I start. Yeah, let's just get rid of the hole, give it back its strength. But we're getting there. We're getting there. This is what we've been after, this sort of egg shape. Uh, just trying to get it flat on both ends. So what I'm doing is just going round and round. And look, you've got those high spots. Using a bit that no, there's a bit there, so I'm going to shave off a bit here. But this is basically what I'm doing. Just using the light to get rid of the high spots so it's nice and straight all the way along. And we just check that that fits. No wiggling, nothing. Now, yes, remember that's the allowance we're making for the Hibaki. So, and the Super. It's the wrong way round, but that's the allowances there, you see. So, and then also, now I think what we're going to be doing is just taking this down bit by bit to house the Suba and we'll start making the seppers as well. I've already started on one sepper, it's made of the the silver stuff. I'm gonna use the brass for the top to go underneath this. So hopefully we won't need to make too many of them to sort out the gap. And then what I'm gonna do just before we start wrapping this and decorating it and stuff, I'm gonna put a coating of like tea coil or boiled linseed oil on here but I did fill in there I did put a pin all the way through the bottom just to stop it splitting if it did go but that, that's quite strong and this I was right is an absolutely beautiful piece of wood to work with no knocks no dings no nothing it's just just perfect Okay, so the sepper, I uh, cut a little bit of brass out. Funnily enough, scissors work. It's hard on the scissors, but they're only shit scissors. I'm merely just going to place this in the vise and just round off the edges. Okay, I've changed how I'm doing this. I've shortened those somewhat, basically, so I've not got it covered in holes. Um, 
that one is going to be the bottom one because I can't do anything about the hole but this one I've got to start the line from there where everything is going to go in hopefully that being the top one will not see the holes all over the place I know what I mean Okay, with a bit of jiggery pokery and putting it on one way, this way works. Putting it on turn around like that doesn't work. So what I've done, the way the blade faces, I've put a little arrow just so I know what way that will slide on for now. Uh, yeah. So the easiest way to do this would be to hate putting this thing on the floor but I've got no choice oh no I've got away with it is to find the original drill bit which we drill with and then basically just copy the dimensions of this into that that's the perfect fit so if we copy this it will be the perfect fit Alright, so we actually have it as it stands now. It, it looks like a sword, it feels like a sword, just don't try holding it because that's going to fall off. So what I'm going to do now is make the pin and then we'll be able to give it a bit of a swing round, a resheath, uh, just to treat it as a sword, just to check everything so mechanically on it before we start making it into like all the pretty bits, the nice bits. Uh, I want to put some buffalo horn here, but I'm going to make a pin uh, of the, the, the traditional material, which is bamboo. I've got a piece of bamboo we're going to make the pin. I think that's going to be the next phase. And then tonight, just so it's got time to dry, I'm just going to cover this in a bit of tea coil, just to, just to treat the wood. It is a good wood, so I just want to treat it just to give it a bit more water resistance. Now yes, I know some of them are tapered at one end so it's thicker and thinner one end, but didn't compensate that with the hole, or the hole in the metal. So, fuck it, we'll go with this and uh, see how it runs. But I mean, we're not samurais, right? We're not going to be fighting battles with this. This is literally just a... It's going to sit on the wall or... It's still going to be functional. I mean, quite literally, it's just going to have a nice decorative box, or maybe get handed down from generations. But no one fights with swords anymore. And then see how Pocky Clips happens, then we'll press it into service. But we'll worry about that when it happens. Okay, no time and patience. Pins in. So now I've just got to put the blade in. Well, actually, I might trim this out first. No. I'll put the blade in first, then trim it out. Okay. 
All right, so what I've done, I've just rounded off the edge of that just so it, it's got more of a point just to get through everything that it's in. I've got to trim it off here and keep this to flat end. So I've just done it so it's a little proud of the surface because I don't want to dig in here or just I just don't want to like this this saw if you get it wrong it starts cutting in to the actual work so I'm not going to do now just sand her down me sanding block until it's flush with that all right so we have it looking like what it's supposed to look like a sword it's quite sturdy, there's no play in the handle that way. The bit of play in the super, or quite a lot of play in the super. But what I'm going to do is, off camera, you don't need to see it, is just make another sepper and that will solve our issues. That is what seppers are for. I'll make it really thin, get it in there. It's literally just a little bit of pressure needed to get that to stay still. Uh, yeah, I don't think bad job so the next thing after I've made the sepper or I might do the sepper later on don't know I'm gonna get this bit flattened down and work out how I'm gonna make the end cap the, the pummel which is gonna be made out of shit, this buffalo horn here it does shine up nice once it's all polished but it stinks when you cut it though so I think maybe go along here a bit more bit on there and then just polish it round not exactly traditional but fuck it hey I know resin, I'm cheating slightly, but I just want to get this done, you know. Anyway, it won't notice. It fill in the gap around the edge of the, uh, what well, a buffalo horn meets the wood. It's a similar colour. I don't know. Just go with it. Just go with it and, and see what happens. That's my motto. This is actually their liquid metal stuff. Uh, I've been using it on the bike. Should all ooze out. I mean, this is the good stuff anyway. This ain't the cheap stuff. Nearly 10 quid for two little tubes. Ridiculous. So, Halfords do take the piss sometimes. Okay, so the plan now, I'm going to wait for this to dry, once it's all dry, uh, I might leave it overnight, I might not. I'm going to fill this hole at the top with a nice piece of wood, so what you'll see when it's all sanded down, fold down, polished up, is a nice shiny piece of, well, buffalo horn, bone, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to put a nice piece of red wood in, I've got some really nice dowels to cut out a nice piece of wood. That I think they just look like a nice brown eye or something in the top. Don't know, we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. So, what I might do is that when I put the dowel in, fill that as well with the same guns, or I might use wood glue actually. I might use this stuff and then brush it over, but we'll see where it goes. Okay, so off camera, uh, I did that. That's the dowel I was talking about. So it's quite a nice red coloured one, not sure what type of wood, but it came out the same bit of furniture as this bit of wood did, so they're a pair. So I'm just going to hack this off now, this has actually been resined in as well, I've left it a few hours, so I'm not waiting till the morning, I just want to get it done, so I'm just going to uh, take that off. Put it back from my other dowels, and now it's just a case of uh, 
Filey, filey. Sorry, sorry.